the water cycle. We've been touching upon bits and pieces of the water cycle for a while. Now let's just talk about it in a little bit more detail. So our first step is evaporation. So evaporation is basically changing the water from liquid to gas. So that's a change of state for you chemistry fans. And this is due to heat, usually from the sun. And so sunlight hitting water causes the water to evaporate. It might be the water in the oceans, it might be water in rivers, streams, lakes, whatever, but it's going to be heat from the sun changing that water from liquid to gas. Transport is basically moving the water vapor. And that's going to you typically be done uh, by wind. So in this illustration, the water moving inland in the air um, is being transported to a different place. This could also be uh, by convection. So when we talked about warm, moist air rising upward, that is also transport. So it's just taking that uh, volume of air that has water in it and moving it someplace else. And in particular, what we're going to be interested in is moving to cooler air because that's going to lead to our next step, which is condensation. So now this is uh, water changing from a gas to a liquid. And this is going to be due to the air cooling to the saturation point so the temperature drops below dew point so that could either be um, because of the air moving up to a high enough altitude it could be here, air moving up a mountain and getting cooled off. Uh, so all of these are ways of cooling that air. We saw uh, water, move, uh, water and air moving inward inland to form fog. That's the same thing. That's still condensation. So all of these cases, the air mass that has the moisture in it is moving to a cooler place and the moisture is condensing. And then return. So this is uh, the water coming back to the ground. And the water supply. So here we've got um, precipitation. That's going to get our water coming to the ground. But then you've also got like rivers and streams taking the water ultimately back out to the ocean. So um, going back to your starting point is what return is doing for us. So if we started here out in the ocean, it evaporated into the air, winds took it inland, it hit cooler air mass, it fell, it, well first it condensed into a cloud, then the rain fell, and then the water supply 
took it back out to the ocean and our cycle is complete. So that's just looking at uh, the water cycle in a little bit more grisly uh, detail of all the things that take place to uh, put water into the atmosphere and ultimately to uh, return it back to where we started.